Hello, my name is Mike M0MSN and thank you for joining me on my channel. Now, a few weeks back I made a video about um, coaxial traps and a lot of the comments from that video were asking me how I made the probe I used to measure the, the trap's residency or resonancy. Oh, I can't even say the word, but anyway, that was the, um, the one of the main questions. Uh, so I thought I would put together a video on how to make the, uh, the probe uh, and this is what I've done. Hello, my name's Mike M0MSN and I'm going to do a very quick video of how to make a, a dip meter probe um, to test the frequency on these traps. Um, and the way that I do it is uh, basically I start with a, um, a short length of uh, two, 213 on a PL259 and I just cut it about that long. So let's get a pair of nips. So here's our length of uh, coax with an SO239 on the end. Very simple job. And uh, I'm going to strip the coax from about there down to there. Here we go. Coax is stripped. Get rid of all our little bits of braid. Lovely. Now I need to peel back the top just a little bit off the end. And in a little bit off of here, just a little, nice gentle, to expose a little bit of the braid. There we go. And what we do then, is we need a bit of wire. Mm, yeah, probably about, uh, about a metre long, let's have a quick check. It is indeed a metre long. And uh, we strip off the end. A bit longer, a bit longer. That just gets put around the base like so. Give me solder and iron out. Okay, let's have a go. If we're getting more as needed than that. I just need to test now just to make sure 
and it hasn't uh, melted and gone through to the made it short no nope, that's good excellent okay so now we just need to turn 20 turns or thereabouts actually that's too narrow so let's put that back on let's put the core outer core back on give it some uh, some thickness yes that will do take a bit off the top So uh, we need to put a bit of tape on that to stop it from... God, there's enough noise in this house, isn't there? Is it, is it so high up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was an oxygen tank here at the side of me, an oxygen tank. And the reason I built it anyway, the reason I put it down the bottom of the garden, is because I bought this tenor mast. Um, I bought this tenor mast that uh, they cranks up to 12 metres there, that's why I got the cobweb on there. And um, it's right at the side of the shack, and because I'm only using like, limited power, I can only use up to 10 watts. I was trying to get as much out of the antenna as possible, use as little coax as possible and get as less losses. And uh, that's another reason why I put the shack at the bottom of the